Hi everyone, Anshul Desai from RK Overseas Education and today we are at Bremen and this uh, institute of Bremen that we are. Uh, I have already made a video wherein I have also covered Hochschule Bremen and IDC Bremen. So now we are at the Central University and this is one of the department of the university where I am with my one of my students Simran. So she is from Mumbai and we will be covering a lot of uh, parts about how, how she got admission into this university, what course she is pursuing and also about details on the admission requirements as well. So let's introduce uh, Simran first. Hi Simran. Uh, uh, hello sir. Hi. Can you please give your introduction? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Simran Vadwa. Uh, I am studying at Universitat Bremen. Uh, at uh, I am studying for the first semester right now. Uh, and what my course? course name hmm. is uh, Industrial Mathematics and Data Analysis. I had my bachelor's done in uh, mathematics, a three-year bachelor's degree program uh, at Uni University of Pune. And, uh, Right. So, like now, uh, I wanted to uh, tell all of you one thing. Like, she is from Pune, and we are based in Delhi. So, let's let's hear it out. Uh, how she contacted us, and what was the reason behind she opted to take services from us, as we are based in, in Delhi. And this is probably like it's the first time I'm meeting her in person. Uh, we we never had a meeting before. Like all the procedure and everything was completely online or through calls. So let's understand similar like why, what was the reason behind you decided to offer RK to take our services to help yeah. you in the admission in the uh, okay. city in Germany. Uh, so when I made a decision to get into public university of Germany, I had consulted a lot of people from Pune, uh, like three to four consultants, but everyone pushed me that you uh, will get an admission in private universities of Germany. Uh, but I wanted to get into a public one. Uh, and that's how I started looking for all the consultants and then came across the R Care consultant uh, Money Mam's video on the YouTube and that's how I contacted Anshul sir and uh, began with my procedure. Uh, yeah. So like it's not that like she contacted me, we had a discussion once and then she was still hesitant because it's very obvious that sitting in a different place uh, in India and then you are trying to uh, connect with someone in, in based in Delhi. So after a discussion with me, she also had uh, her, her father talk to me and then once they were all convinced, then we started her process. Now this is a, a thing which I also wanted to mention that many of the counsellors back in India, they will always try to push you to go into a private university. However, a student like Simran, she had approximately how much? 85 percent in a bachelor's? Uh, yeah, 86 percent. 86 percent, which is approximately equivalent to 1.7 or 1.6 German grades. That's a very good grade score for you to get admission into any public, not any barring LMU, like you can get into a lot of uh, public universities in Germany. Fine, so now. Uh, Let's discuss like what the, the course that you are now pursuing is mm -hmm. industrial data science. So how is the course? What are the study modules that you have opted for your first semester? Okay. And you can also tell us something about the university because it's a big, big campus out here. Yeah, so the campus of University Bremen is quite big and uh, I have two compulsory subjects for my semester one. Uh, the courses are like uh, numerical partial differential equations and uh, the and uh, data analysis, mathematical models of data analysis and uh, optional subjects are like statistics and uh, so it's like pretty uh, easy and uh, you all can choose whichever courses you all want to opt for optional and choose as many as you all want for first semester, second semester, third semester and complete your credit points according to the requirements of the master's degree program. Uh, right. Now another point here like when she approached us, uh, she had a, a three-year bachelor's degree. She she had us uh, her bachelor's in mathematics, mathematics right? Mathematics, right. yeah. Now, when you apply for a course such as data science, you will see that the university emphasizes more uh, on those students who have mathematics and statistics in their bachelor studies, which is why you are able to fulfill the grade points required to get into a course such as data science. Also, there are many students who think that with a three-year bachelor's degree, they cannot apply for a master's course in Germany. Now, that is simply completely wrong. Uh, 
uh, with a three-year bachelor's degree, you have to apply only to those universities who have clearly mentioned on their website that they are okay to take a relevant three-year bachelor's degree from India or perhaps they will always mention about the grade points requirement. So if someone has a three-year bachelor's degree in India, apply to those universities who are asking for 180 ECTS in your bachelor's in order to apply for master's degree which is what we did here. We did not apply to all the universities who are offering data science here in Germany for her. Instead, we applied only to those right. universities where we are fulfilling the grade points. Yes, so this is the myth that a lot of students have that if it is, if your bachelors are of three years, you all can't opt for the data science programs or the computer science programs. But uh, if your credit points suit according to your program, then it's absolutely fine. So four year is not, and three year is not an issue. Also, like I would like to mention that apart from the grades that you have in your bachelor's, the grade points requirement, uh, one more thing which plays a very important role which is always going to be your letter of motivation. Now when you write let your letter of motivation, it shouldn't be very simple one wherein you just want to say that I want to join the university and uh, this is the reason why you should take us. Also highlight the fact that what all subjects that you have studied in your bachelor's that is going to be relevant uh, in fulfilling the requirements of their master's courses try to make a table sort of of a thing in your in your letter of motivation so that it becomes easier for the german admission department also to evaluate your profile plus when when you plan to do a course which is so demanding such as data science if you are pursuing bachelors in india try to do your internship in companies wherein you are working uh, as a trainee and a data, data science sort of a course or perhaps into ai try to take some certification course whether it's online or through, through some institutes in India that is completely fine as well. Uh, try to gather as much as relevant uh, certifications back in India itself because it's not always going to be about the marks that you have secured in your bachelor's is the overall profile which will help you to get admission into a public university in Germany. So like uh, apart from your academy like you already had a very good academic background. Yeah. Can you also mention a few other things which you have done which sort of made your profile a bit strong, which you feel like? Uh, yeah, so I had a, a experience letter uh, from my university itself and which I worked under the professor and also the company where I worked in uh, for around period of six months. Uh, so I basically worked in Python and uh, Excel sheets. So this was something which was related to the course which I had opted. So and also the LOR, the letter of recommendation that you get from your professors, make sure you all get it from your uh, head of the supervisor not from your local professors so i think that would also add a very uh, strong point in your profile and the resume would stand out definitely right so uh, thank you so much simran for giving the insights and uh, if you wanted to apply for for studying in germany for bachelor's or for masters related to data science or perhaps any other course you can always contact us uh, through email uh, you can directly call us as well we'll be happy to answer all your queries thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you yeah.